Hi guys, Stuart here from Airshow World and this is tutorial number five um, of setting up a virtual radar server. So at the end of number four you should have had um, a screen similar to this running. So what's, um, what do we need to do next? Okay, so really the final um, stage is um, you should have I mean you may have already have, have done this but uh, you should have had um, some emails from flight aware because one of the um, early very early stages in um, the tutorial number one was to create your um, login for flight aware you should have had some emails and by now um, they should be receiving data from your Raspberry Pi so when you go to the FlightAware website, you should have um, a link from your emails that they have sent you. And um, when you go there, it will say something like claim your um, Raspberry Pi um, ID, whatever. I can't remember exactly the wording of it, but it'll be something along those lines. You click on that, and basically that then will um, get the whole ball rolling. and. Um, you'll be able then to be able to um, get the um, the MLATs um, really that's about um, your lot really um, everything should all be running if you follow those um, steps through uh, it's simple to set up but I thought I'd um, create these um, simple uh, tutorials uh, I, I believe I'm a big believer that looking at videos is so much easier than just trying to scratch your head and um, reading what other other people have said if you can see it on a video it's um, much easier um, other th um, while we're doing this tutorial um, I will just show you a couple of things that the virtual radar server um, gives you you've got if you click on map that will show you a different map just there of course you can zoom in and out there we go there's contrast and really to be honest my favorite is always um, the satellite mode and um, you can I'm not too far from East Midlands Airport and this is what I really like about it um, running your own virtual radar server if you are close to an airfield you really do and as I think you will see in just a moment um, you can zoom very close and you will see this aircraft and it'll this is live and it, you'll see it taxi round and to park there is another stage um, that I'm going to do but um, I think I shall do that in a um, a, a different series um, and that, that will be to be able to show your um, uh, um, say if you've got a, a scanner um, showing on here um, on the original um, number one video I think we started off with um, a little display just in this area that showed uh, a radio um, that was running from ProScan and in another tutorial I'll uh, show you exactly how to um, run ProScan. You can see that aircraft coming um, nice and slowly and it will turn off the runway. There we go. So, at the moment we have all aircraft being shown. Let's zoom out a little bit. So that's everything that I'm I'm picking up just myself. Okay, there's my receivers that we set up. In the options, you have lots of different options here that you can play with. In the aircraft, let's move this across. Basically, <clears throat> this information here is the information that you're getting over here okay if you want to add or remove some of these you click on that 
click on that and these the ones you can add or take off yeah okay and you can also move these up or down to different areas notice that's just moved let's go back and move the speed back to where we were there we go and it's moving that across okay so you you can just set this up to however you want okay when you're finished put that back and that locks it again the list relates to all of these down here yeah in this section and exactly the same unlock if you want something that's not there just add them move them up or down whereabouts you want them in this particular order as you see silhouettes yeah, on the first column operator flags in the second column and so on okay so that's pretty I think that's pretty straightforward um, the interesting bit filters <clears throat> if you wanted a different type of filter you can filter them here okay my favorite is military so I've got that ticked and if I click enable filter <coughs> excuse me and uh, for this time of year uh -huh, we have actually got some military aircraft flying over if you want to white so quiet at the moment it's the um, it is the Christmas period so <laughs> it's um it's pretty quiet for military aircraft there we go back to the options filters take out the tick for filters and again that will show everything now another little feature that um, I like about using virtual radar server um, say for example you've got some friends um, that you've gently persuaded with a stick <laughs> not quite but um, yeah say if you've got different friends around the country that um, have um, virtual radar server working as well what you could do is say to them um, talk them through how, how to do this I've done this with, with a couple of my friends that live in different parts of the country and basically what, what they do that they just give me their IP address um, now it's not obviously it's not the um, local IP address of the computer it's what you call the um, the wide, wide area network the one yeah that's the IP address that you need normally it's something in the region of oh it could be something like 79 or 69 dot or um, 88 dot it just depends on your service provider they they are the people that provide the um, uh, IP address and of course you're asking how do I find the IP address well that's simple as well because once you have your flight aware system working you'll have your own um, login screen which will give you your statistics for your um, actual for what you are uploading how much data you're uploading how many aircraft um, lots of different information but the important things is it'll tell you um, what the MAC address is of your Raspberry Pi it'll tell you what your um, network IP addresses and it will also tell you what your local IP address is in other words the IP address of your um, Raspberry Pi okay so I hope this has helped I uh, ho hope it all makes sense if it doesn't and um, please rewind through the videos and um, this is uh, tutorial number five of the um, series um, I think I'm going to leave it at that and um, I'll say I did say I will uh, go through using uh, the, um, uh, the the radio side of it but th that will come in a, a new series um, about using the uh, 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 Uniden BCT 15X um, via ProScan 
okay so many many thanks for um w watching these videos certainly hope they've helped um please um le leave um, a comment in the uh, comment section of the, the video um if you'd like to subscribe that would be absolutely fantastic if you'd like to give us a thumbs up that's even better um just to mention if you do subscribe it's a um, good idea there's an option to be able to select um receive notifications basically each time i uh, put a new video on you'll get an email saying that i have a new email out so um for those new um tutorials that, that i've got you you might find that um of use and also uh, uh, obviously i keep putting um aircraft videos on airshow world and i've got so many more new videos coming out over the next um, couple of months um currently we have around about 400 different um, aircraft videos, air shows, low fly aircraft, um, base visits, um, you know, and anything to do with aircraft basically. And of course, um, nearly every day we have um, our live um, radar feed with the uh, radio comms get going out. So, um, yep, yeah, please um, keep up to date with Airshow World and uh, thanks for watching.